Internet for all. Access to technology has become very important in all aspects of our lives. It gives us the ability to learn, discover, and connect globally with others. Unfortunately, not everyone has access to this 21st century basic need. Across the world, we have a digital divide. This divide is the division between people who have and do not have access to technology. Factors that contribute to this are social, economic, racial, education, and location. While this divide addresses all aspects of technology, the role of being able to connect to the internet is a key issue. Many school districts have started to provide laptops and other devices for students to use during the school day. While this is great, learning cannot stop when students leave the classroom. Once students are away from school, the ability to use their devices decrease based on internet availability and connectivity. School districts like Belico Cressy believe that students having access to the internet beyond the reach of school is important for their success. Here is one teacher's take on the matter. As a third grade teacher at Palico Elementary, I feel that um, internet access at home is almost vital. Um, one reason for this is, think back when you were making that mission project in fourth grade. It was the parents that went out and spent the most money at the craft store at Michael's that did the best in the project. Having internet at home gives it every child no matter what their parents' income is, an equal playing field. It gives them the chance to go home and do their homework and do their projects that normally that they can't finish at school gives them the chance. And not having internet access doesn't give those kids that need that leg up that chance. So internet at school is important, but I feel like internet at home is even more important because I can give those kids extra strategies that they can be working on, fun games that they can be practicing. For example, in my class, a lot of my kids are having problems, not a lot, but a few, especially my English language learners, are having issues with um, their vowel sounds. And I don't have time as a third grade teacher to teach those concepts, so I can give them little games that they can play at home, which is a, gives them the chance to practice at home and um, it's a win-win situation. So it's almost vital. And it makes a huge difference in projects and different things like that because it doesn't matter how much money they have. It matters on parent involvement, parent helping them, and I think it also helps kids be more excited about doing work at home because I give them fun things like Spelling City or Magna High, games that they get to play where they wouldn't normally get that practice at home if they didn't have internet. So as a third grade teacher, I think internet at home is vital. Superintendent Brian Ballinger has made it his mission to reach out to as many people as he can and bring the issue of internet connectivity to the forefront of education. Here are some of his thoughts on it. One of the things that I believe as the principal and superintendent of a one-to-one -one school district is if we're going to provide students with uh, a computer, a device, plus online curriculum, then we need to be that provider of internet access as well when they leave school so that the learning never stops. When they leave school, uh, their learning is able to continue. They're able to collaborate with their fellow classmates. They can collaborate with their teachers. One of the nice things we do here at the Belico Cressy School District is we provide our teachers with the same connectivity and access that we provide our students with. So all of our students, we provide them with Verizon MiFi uh, jetpacks, and we also provide our students with my, I mean our teachers with MiFi jetpacks as well. And so that enables both kids and teachers to not be connected to the four walls of their classroom, that they're able to go out anytime, anywhere, and, and learn, to push the envelope, to dig deeper on concepts. Um, and, and frankly, it's a fundamental right, I believe, in education today, that every child should get free internet, free Wi-Fi uh, with their public education. And we really need to step up at some point and make that transition and find ways to deliver that product uh, to all students, not just students in need, but all students and families. 
And one of the things that we found here at the Belico Cressy School District was when we originally set out to provide internet to students, we said, those of you that need it, that don't have internet at home, please go ahead and sign up. But if you have internet at home, please don't, don't sign up. And so we did that initially. And two months into the school year, we had parents coming back to us saying, do you still have MyFi's available? Can I get one for my child? And the reason was that their children were involved in school extracurricular activities outside of school. So they weren't getting home until 9 o'clock at night and then at that point having to do their homework. And for me, that's when it really kicked in and made sense that, you know, we want our kids involved in other activities to be well-rounded citizens, to be, you know, critical uh, thinkers, problem solvers, uh, to be better citizens of these United States, really, and, and of our community. And so, if we're going to want them to do things other than just school, we need to be able to provide them with the access to their schooling wherever they're at. And that just wasn't happening. So we said, you know what, we're going to provide it to all. And anybody who wants one can come in and get it. And right now, currently, uh, we provide almost 200 families with internet uh, capabilities. And so what we found is now kids are emailing their teachers, collaborating with uh, their fellow students on problems uh, and, and looking for the solutions themselves. Not, not like the old days where they would read their textbook and go back and find the answer on page 23 and write down what it says and sometimes paraphrase it or in their own, in their own words. Now they're given broad concepts, ideas, and they're asked to do the research. They're asked to go out and figure these things out, put them together, <laughs> into a format that the teacher has asked for, being able to stand behind that research, uh, those ideas, and that wouldn't be possible if they didn't have internet 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, <clears throat> we would still just be changing technology, um, you know, versions of the textbook, and, and this way we're asking kids to go deeper. And one of my beliefs is that those jobs that pay well in the future, or even now, require us to do just that, to take a, a concept and analyze it deeply and then make recommendations. If we look at in education, teachers, administrators, if we start looking at doctors, nurses, lawyers, um, city officials, those kinds of things, people are being asked to problem solve and that's what we're giving kids the opportunity to do. No longer do teachers or children need to memorize everything. All that information is out there for them to access anytime. And so what we need to do is teach them how to access it, um, synthesize it, and, and apply it to what they're doing. And that starts as early as kindergarten with us in TK. Um, and so we are pushing that. The other thing is equity. Equity and equal access. A child in Mountain View, California can walk down the street and be connected at a McDonald's, at Starbucks on every corner, uh, probably enough Wi-Fi being broadcast throughout the town uh, through Comcast, AT&T, or whatever, to be connected all the time. Bleco Cressy is extremely rural. Uh, only thing that most families have options for are uh, dial-up internet, direct line-to-line point of sight, uh, uh, which is extremely expensive or mobile broadband and so now with the new rules and changes and and there's no longer unlimited data out there you know so families are paying on the gigabit it, it is starting to become extremely expensive for them um, and we need to find ways to provide those students equal access this is this is an equity thing these kids whether they grow up in LA San Francisco or Belico California will be applying to the same universities as those kids, even kids in India or China uh, and, that have grown up with higher connectivity. They're going to have the skills that universities are looking for. And if we don't provide the access to our kids to get those same kinds of skills, then we fundamentally are doing something wrong. 
And we need to get beyond that um, and get to a place where every child is provided with a device, digital curriculum, and internet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. On top of that, none of this, none of this replaces a teacher. A highly qualified, skilled teacher needs to be in place for all of this. And professional development provided to those teachers, uh, regardless of the cost. Because without them, none, nothing's possible. We still need that teacher. No matter the connectivity or the device, it still doesn't make sense and it's not meaningful without that teacher bringing it all together. But it, it really has become a fundamental right uh, that students should be demanding. You know, and one of the things that we've talked about possibly doing and looking at is pairing um, with the Federal Workforce Investment Act, um, county programs, and helping parents get those uh, GEDs and maybe get on to college or learn English, you know, through those MIFIs at home. Because when a child's at school, they're connected and ready to go, and that MIFI's sitting at home. We can still use that MIFI to help that parent now access the internet, get their GED, learn English, get on to a junior college, have those kinds of programs, uh, tying it all together so that education inside that household is meaningful for all. And so, you know, for me, those are those are my big things. You know, that if we're going to provide them with the device, we need to provide them with the internet, uh, the collaboration and ability to access their teachers and peers anytime they need something, uh, or even me as the principal and superintendent, I get emails from kids all the time. Uh, even when they're at home, I get chat messages uh, letting me know what happened that day, if I need to look into something, or just you know an update on how they're doing uh, in school. The other thing would be you know the equity and equality. Uh, we shouldn't have haves and haves nots in our schools when it comes to internet access, um, and that is why I believe in Wi-Fi for all or, or internet for all. The hope is that more school districts will follow BCSD's lead and offer internet for their students beyond school. If we work together along with businesses in the area and government, internet can be made available to all, creating fantastic opportunities that will benefit many 